quality of skill corresponds a higher salary. Okay? However, under the draft system, an irregularity takes place, which is we have highly skilled people because the draft doesn't discriminate in, in that sense. It grabs doctors, graduate students, unskilled people, whatever, and they keep getting paid this. I guess a, as a really low, lowly skilled people, person. So the, the Gates Commission says the difference be, between what they should be getting under an old one to your system and what they actually get, this is the conscription tax. So this guy would require a salary of $1,200 a month, but he's getting only $100 a month. Let's say $300 with food and lodging and all of this, $300 a month. He's still paying, how much is he paying in tax? 900. Now, what is the problem with this? Well, the Gates Commission says this is unconstitutional. Why is that? Because taxes must be proportional and progressive. You understand what I mean by that? You pay a proportion of your income. So if you make $100,000, I'm sorry, if you make $50,000 a year, you probably would pay whatever, 15% or 17% in taxes. That's proportional. But if you make $100,000 a year, you're not going to pay 15%. 15 you're going to pay whatever it is, 30%. So your proportion will double. Now, do you think this is a proportional tax? Someone who makes... $300 a month and pays $900 a month in taxes? No, the Gates Commission says that is not proportional and that is not progressive. It's right the opposite. It is regressive. You're making the people who, who make less money, you're making them pay the most in taxes. Now, let me ask you another question. If we are to pay the salaries of the soldiers, in an old volunteer system, where would the money for those salaries come from? Taxes, thank you. Who pays the most taxes? More money, huh? I'm sorry, what? High income people, the wealthiest people, right? So, by not paying those salaries, who's saving more money? The wealthy, thank you. So the Gates Commission says, look, this is the real meaning of the draft. So that the wealthiest people save a little money in taxes, the poorest people, men 18 through 25, they don't have big bank, big bank accounts, are being burdened with this absolutely overwhelming, disproportionate, regressive tax. That was the, the thing which the Gates Commission revealed, amazing. So the wealthiest people can save a little money in taxes for those salaries. The poorest people are burdened with this incredibly high tax. Now, <clears throat> this is, as I said, the first component, the basic definition. Um, let's see what happens now if we have, so we have three guys here. We have, have Chris, we have, um, what's your name? Michael, and we have Anthony. These three guys here. Now, um, say Michael is the regular guy who, well, if they offer $1,200 a month, he'll, he'll enlist. He'll be a soldier. Chris loves the military. He just loves the military. He saw his dream is to be in the military and all this, you know. So he'd be willing to serve for even for less, for $600 a month. He'd be happy to, to enlist. While Anthony hates the military. He just hates the military. And he has better things to do. And unless they offer him, you know, $4,000 a month, he wouldn't enlist. Now, my question is, is this guy paying less in tax? Is his conscription tax lower because he'd be willing to enlist for $300 a month? No? Why not? Yes? Well, the Gates Commission says, no, he's paying the same. He's missing out as much as everyone else. Why is that? Because under a no-volunteer system, he'd be getting the same salary as everyone else. 
he wouldn't just go to enlist and say, hey, you know, I'll be, I'll be willing to serve for $600. That wouldn't happen. They'll say, the standard salary is $1,200. Even if you're willing to serve for less, well, you don't care about that. So by being conscripted, he's missing, or in other words, he's paying as much as everyone else in tax. Now, what about Anthony? He hates the military. You would need to offer him $4,000 a month to have him enlist voluntarily. What is his conscription tax like? Is he paying more or less or the same or what? The same is like the politically correct answer. <laughs> well, sorry, no, he's paying more. He's paying more. He's paying more because he's placed a higher value to his work. <clears throat> you know what? Victoria likes to paint. She loves painting. And you know what she does on Monday mornings? She goes to Venice Beach with her paintings by the sidewalk, and she never sells a single painting. You know why? Because of the price. Her paintings are really, really expensive. Um, $10,000, $20,000. And when you tell her, but that's ridiculous. I mean, you should lower the price. You, you'll never say, she thinks, she, say, oh, she gets upset. She says, no, 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 this is, I'm, the new, I'm the new Picasso in female version. And, well, it may take time, humanity, to find out, but anything wrong with that? No, that's her business. She thinks her paintings are fabulous and she's not willing to go down on the price. Now, if you were to steal one of those paintings that are labeled $10,000, how much would you be stealing? $10,000, as simple as that. Even if you look at it and you go, this is not worth $20, doesn't matter, it's $10,000. I'm simplifying things. Things are not that simple, but anyway. That's basically the idea. Um, so this guy has placed a value tag on his work, which is $4,000 a month. If we grab it and say, you're gonna work in case $100, $300, we are actually grabbing a much higher value, meaning he's paying a much higher tax. As simple as that. Does that make sense? Yeah? Let me give you another example. Say there's going to be a fair here on campus, and we decide to um, have our own stand in there, and we're going to sell cakes, and then we're going to, with the proceedings, we're going to have a big party at the end of the semester or something. And um, so we, we decide each of us is going to prepare a cake. Now, when the day comes, we're going to bring our cakes here, and then we're going to vote on a prize for our cakes and stuff. Okay? So we find we have three kinds of cakes. We have like Melissa, she's put a really good cake, she's put lots of time into it and you know, expensive ingredients and da da da. And so has, what's her name? Terry. Terry. And so has Shannon. Shannon and so a few other people, just a few people, maybe five or six people, really fancy cakes. <coughs> then most of the cakes are, you know, People spend a couple hours preparing them. They're fine, okay, no big deal. And then we have the shitty cakes, like by Chris and a few other people. Just, <laughs> they just went to the 99 cents stores and bought some pre-made, cheap stuff in there and just put it on the microwave oven, the, the cake. Okay. So we vote on the price for the cakes. And we decided, on the average, $30 would be fine per cake. Uh, these guys are really happy because, you know, <laughs> they couldn't sell theirs for for $2, $30 is fine with them. But Melissa and the other people who prepare the really good cakes complain and say, no way, we're not gonna sell our cakes for $30. We spend, we spend more than $30 just in the ingredients. So if you guys wanna go with your cakes for $30, fine, but our cakes will sell for $60, period. And so you know what happens? And at that point, the military shows up in the classroom and they say, we're gonna confiscate our, your cakes uh, they're needed to save the country. So they take our cakes with them. Let's see how much each of us has lost in here. We know what the average one has lost, right? Now these guys have lost as, as much as the average person because they were gonna make $30 on their cakes too, right? Now what about, um, what about Melissa and 
the people who prepare the fancy cakes, have they lost as much as everyone else? They've lost more. They were going to sell their cakes for more, OK? So you see, you see how it works? Well, the same. The Gates Commission calls this, don't forget this expression, the unrealized rents. Unrealized rents, OK? The unrealized rents, yes. But in your case, for example, wouldn't that, in a sense, make it seem like I actually gained more instead of stayed the same when it sold at 430 because I was actually happy? So I'm trying to say that if I, I give you the example that I had, um, I was ready to enlist in the army for less money, but I actually got more money than expected. Wouldn't that mean that I actually? Um, you, yeah, I know what you mean. You you earn more because earn you more were you would be happy to serve for less. Because I valued it less. But when it comes to is. paying taxes, you're not paying less. But if you're saying that you want to come in at four thousand, you're not necessarily paying less too, although you do value it as more. You're not paying less. You're paying more because you value it more. You'd be willing to serve for less, okay? If you get more and there are no volunteer system, fine, you're happy. You're making extra, OK? But, if, but he's on the other side from you. He requires more. If he's forced to serve for less, he's paying more than you are. And when it comes to taxation, he's paying more than you are. You are paying as much as everyone else because you, you won't be getting this. But he should be getting this, and he's not getting it. So he's paying. Unrealized rents. The third component that the Gates Commission talks about is the expenses people incur into when trying to avoid the draft. What are those expenses? What did people do in order to avoid the draft? The draft dodgers, what did they do? They went to Canada or Mexico or they left the country. Um, they stayed in college forever and ever and ever. And that is in order to, to, you know, to get deferments and stuff. And that is a, an expense for the community, for the state. Because if you're in college in a public university, and we're talking about public universities, well, here at this university, believe it or not, the state is paying part of your tuition for each of you. By the way, only a few years ago, the state of California paid up to 80%, 80% of your tuition. Then, because of the crisis, it's been going down, 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 while your fees have been going up, up, up. And by now, the state of California pays approximately 20% of your tuition. And still, that's an expense. That's why they're, they've been limiting the number of students, because each of you cost money to the state of California, much less than before, but still quite a bit. They could go down to zero, but then this wouldn't be cast at Northridge. It would be USC, totally private. Okay? So they don't want to do that. But that's the reason why they, they, they cut the number of students, because your fees do not cover the full tuition. Well, in a draft situation, imagine thousands of people trying to stay in college permanently for years and years and years to avoid being drafted. That's an, exp an unnecessary expense. Those people are taking degrees, and again, over degrees and more degrees that they don't need just to stay in college. That happened too, OK? Um, or they can cause themselves some mutilation or some disease in um, late 19th century Europe and early 20th century Europe in places like France or Spain. There were people who trafficked in contagious diseases. You go from town to town, and you would pay them to get infected with a disease that would prevent you from being drafted. Or you would destroy an eye, or your teeth, or cut fingers, stuff like that. Now, the Gates Commission calls that a net loss. Net loss, because the community has been, in, has been making an investment in you, in, in, in reading you, and educating you, and now, Rather than producing, you're lost. You leave the country. You. So the th those are the three components of the conscription tax. The basic definition, the, unreal, the notion of the unrealized rents, and finally, the expenses people incur into in order to avoid the draft. Okay. Um, in what sense is Going back to my original question, in what sense is a, a, an army of draftees more expensive than an army of all volunteers? 
you should get uh, by 